right. Sorry. So an Olympic hurdler named Lolo Jones confessed to a strange alternative lifestyle. Yep, in a TV interview, she said she's staying a virgin till marriage. I know, what a freak. Take a listen. This journey has been hard. <laughs> I'm not... Or there's virgins out there that I'm going to let them know. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Harder than training for the Olympics, harder than graduating from college has been to stay a virgin before marriage. So why is this news? Well, for a culture that's rife with reality shows about pregnant teens and scuzzy celebrities who'd sleep with a reindeer if it got them pressed, <laughs> she's a glaring throwback, especially for the mass media who don't know anyone as screwed up as the mass media. So to them, a young woman saving herself for marriage seems as rare as Bigfoot in drag. I should stop there before Bob gets turned on. <laughs> but if you examine Jones's life, you're going to learn something. Here's a lady whose discipline allowed for great success. That success was unfettered by crap that our culture deems cool. Fact is, delayed gratification rarely leads to failure, but you can't say the same for the opposite. Lolo shows what happens if you forget, just say no, and embrace, just not now. Now, feminists love to champion sexual freedom, but isn't Lolo defining her own sexual freedom? And sure, she said it's tough, more so than being a, an Olympian. But why is the latter cool and the former not? She should get a, a medal for both. I have a theory, Andrea. <laughs> Bob, I'm not going to you but first. His hand yeah, is I'm not going to you. Because <laughs> no. I know exactly what you're going to say, and it's not going to be very nice. That's right. Angie, I have a theory that all of these uh, uh, prodigies, the people that do incredible things when they're young, do so because they, they, they pick something and they do it really, really well, and it's not sex. They let that come later. Isn't that a pretty, doesn't she set a pretty good example of? She sets a great example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So she devoted her life, most athletes do. Yeah. They sacrifice social gatherings and trips to the beach and all that other stuff um, to focus on sports. Yeah. And she did that. So her fo focus hasn't been sex. Too much now, the culture is just focused on <laughs> sex. That's all And it they is. cannot believe that there's a woman out there or anybody who's, as you point out, a freak for not having sex. So now she's known for this, unfortunately, yeah. or fortunately, it's a great example to I, young girls, than her talent. I think that Andrea Funny. deserves a medal for getting through that <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. without looking at Bob, who was cracking up the whole time. Yeah, exactly. I was, I was, See, Bob reflects the media, though, the newspaper no, guy that says, I've right. never met a can girl I, like this. They can't you, exist. Before you draw conclusions here, can I say something? <laughs> Absolutely. I admire this woman for doing this. I think it takes a lot of courage. It takes yeah. a lot of courage to come out and say it. That's true. Particularly in this society that we live in today. I'm surprised. And I give her a lot of credit for it, and I hope that she sticks by this, and she gets married. She has a wonderful life. And then gives up her virginity the way, way she should in marriage and have a kid and have a wonderful life. And I think it's a good example. Who are you? <laughs> what happened to Bob? Where is Bob? I, I, I just, I think, I mean, look at her. I mean, I, I, I can understand ah, why it would be tough to stay a virgin. Oh, she's beautiful. You know, and then he had, yeah. No, no, she's beautiful. Oh, good, okay. I, I thought you were going somewhere else. No, no, I, that, I said I admired her. I just uh, find it weird that we're all talking about it, though. Mm -hmm. like, why, why is anybody talking about because this? Because so it was, it was everywhere it's, it's, all week, it, Dana. But no, but how did that first start then? It was in a uh, HBO uh, question. But from... anybody wouldn't know that you're still a virgin. Well, unless you told I them. hadn't to put it on my blog. <laughs> Are you going to talk well, about this next subject? Uh, no, I kind of agree to? with you, Dana. She, she, <laughs> but she was asked. You know, she wasn't really said, are you a virgin or not? Yeah. She said, I was sick and tired of being asked why I'm single. Yeah. And there's a lot of women who I think are probably sick and tired of being asked why they're single, but they don't offer that much information. Yeah, yeah. that's, well, yeah. I'm hey, Eric, I want to ask you, MTV, who I know it's your favorite network, uh, canceled the <laughs> casting call for a new show where they follow uh, young adults, 18 or older, uh, older, as they lose their virginity. After it came out in the press, they decided to drop the whole idea. Broke your heart, didn't it? Because they couldn't find any young adults 18 and over. <laughs> no one showed up to the casting call? <laughs> that might have been it. That might have been it. Bob, this is your favorite story. I, I, I showed up for it, I, but I didn't know. <laughs> Hoping uh, to meet someone? I, I, I was going to protest the whole concept of it. Now, let me tell you something. I think these reality TV shows are leaving the worst example yeah. for young people. You could start with that Jersey Shore junk and all the rest of these housewives of the dope city. Uh, they're all a bunch of imbeciles anyway, <laughs> and they all dress like a bunch of you goombas. You were a and, reality show <laughs> in yes. your youth. And, and I was. That's why. I'm a good example reality. for why you shouldn't have this reality show. Because gotcha. if you had a reality show, when I was a reality show, everybody would be a, a dog. <laughs> gotcha. But right? think about that. These kids want to get famous, so they're willing to put yeah. their, they're betting, their they're, virginity. They're betting against their future that this will be the best it ever gets. They don't think that 10 years from now this stuff will still be on TV. 
unique. They got to understand it, it gets better and better. Yeah, exactly. All right, one more thing is up next. If you leave now, I'll set fire to Eric's chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving.